The race for the leading Methalox engine is tighter than ever. Blue Origin's BE-4 and SpaceX's Raptor continue pushing modern propulsion forward. Raptor 3 held the spotlight for some time, but Blue Origin's newly upgraded BE-4 surprised many by producing more thrust than Raptor 3. Thrust is only one measure, yet the reveal sparked swift debate and widespread disbelief among enthusiasts. How did Blue Origin achieve this boost? How did SpaceX and Musk respond? And why do many experts still argue that the Raptor remains the stronger engine overall? These questions take center stage in today's episode of Great SpaceX. First of all, when comparing the BE-4 and the Raptor 3, it's important to recognize that the BE-4 is already flying on both New Glenn and Vulcan. While the Raptor 3 has not yet begun official operational service, the latest setback involving Booster 18 will delay the installation and formal activation of the Raptor 3 engine, which means SpaceX will need more time before its next generation engine enters full operational use. Now let us return to the main focus of today's discussion, which is the BE-4 engine and the significant momentum that Blue Origin has recently gained. After 25 years of development, testing, and gradual progress, Blue Origin appears more confident than ever. The success of the second New Glenn flight has opened the door to new opportunities and has signaled that the company is finally entering a period of accelerated advancement. Building on this success, Blue Origin is preparing to deliver a new round of upgrades that will shape the performance of the New Glenn launch vehicle, beginning with the NG-3 mission. These plans were outlined in a detailed update published on the company's website, which stated that Blue Origin is implementing a series of enhancements designed to increase payload capability, improve launch cadence, and strengthen overall system reliability. The list of upgrades spans propulsion, structural elements, avionics, reusability features, and recovery operations. All these improvements will be gradually introduced on the upcoming New Glenn flights starting with NG-3. Among these enhancements, the most significant change is the increase in total thrust across both stages of the rocket. Blue Origin provided clear details in its update, beginning with the booster stage. The first stage will continue using seven BE-4 engines, but its total thrust will rise from 3.9 million pounds, which is approximately 1,755 tons, to four and a half million pounds, which is approximately 2,032 tons. When dividing those values across all seven engines, each BE-4 will increase from around 250 tons of thrust to approximately 290. Blue Origin has already demonstrated these performance gains in testing. According to the company, the BE-4 has shown thrust levels of 625,000 pounds, or 283 tons, under current propellant conditions. They also stated that they expect to reach 640 40,000 pounds or 290 tons before the end of the year. These numbers would place the BE-4 ahead of the Raptor 3, which SpaceX previously announced at 280 tons of thrust at sea level. This development marks another dramatic turn in the ongoing rivalry between the two Methalox engine families. When the BE-4 first appeared with its 250-ton thrust capability, it consistently surpassed the early Raptor variants, including Raptor 1 at 189 tons and Raptor 2 at 230. However, everything shifted when SpaceX revealed the Raptor 3. In 2023, they reported the engine achieved 269 tons of thrust, surpassing the BE-4 for the first time. Then, in 2024, they pushed the number even higher to 280, widening the gap and re-establishing SpaceX's lead. With those improvements, nearly every measurable category favored the Raptor family, leaving BE-4 with fewer advantages. This is why Blue Origin is now determined to reclaim its footing and restore the BE-4's competitive position. To achieve this, they improved the engine's propellant subcooling system. This refinement allows the BE-4 to operate at higher thrust levels by boosting thermal resilience and improving the engine's ability to manage intense internal pressures. In its original configuration, the BE-4 could safely reach 250 tons of thrust. By enhancing the durability of the propellant system, the engine can now withstand higher temperatures and pressures, which enables it to operate at significantly greater thrust levels without compromising reliability. The upgrades do not stop with the booster. Blue Origin is also improving the second stage by increasing its thrust from 320,000 pounds, or 145 tons, to 400,000, or 180 
181. This means that each BE3U engine will rise from 160,000 or 72.5 to 200,000 or 90.5 tons. The company has also confirmed that the BE3U has already reached more than 211,000 or 96 on the test stand. Even though the BE3U uses a different propellant combination and cannot be directly compared to a Methalox engine like the Raptor, these improvements still demonstrate meaningful progress across Blue Origin's upper stage design. Altogether, these upgrades underscored the company's desire to expand its capabilities and broaden its reach within both commercial and governmental mission profiles. Blue Origin stated that these enhancements will immediately benefit customers already scheduled to fly on New Glenn, including those targeting destinations in low Earth orbit, lunar orbit, and deep space environments. They also described additional changes, such as a reusable fairing to support more frequent launches, a redesigned lower-cost tank structure, and an upgraded thermal protection system that will reduce turnaround time. One of the first missions to take advantage of these upgrades will be NG-3, which includes Blue Moon Mark 1, the company's lunar lander. This uncrewed vehicle will support NASA's efforts to expand lunar exploration and its success could pave the way for future crewed variants such as the Mark 1.5 or Mark 2, which could play a role in forthcoming Artemis missions. Looking further ahead, the engine upgrades will form the foundation for an even more powerful New Glenn variant known as Super Heavy New Glenn. This future design will increase the number of engines on both stages. The booster will move from 7 to 9 BE4 engines, while the second stage will expand from 2 to 4 BE3U engines. With this configuration, the booster's thrust would reach approximately 5.75 million pounds, or 2,610 tons, while the second stage would climb to more than 846,000 pounds, or 384 tons. What do you think about Blue Origin's latest upgrades, especially the rising performance of the BE-4. Could it finally surpass the Raptor family in the next phase of the competition? Let me know in the comment section down below. To me, surpassing the thrust of a Raptor variant does not automatically mean the BE-4 will win. Thrust is only one part of a much larger picture, so it's worth looking closely at what each engine family brings to the table. First, regarding thrust, it's important to remember that the Raptor 3 is not the final word on SpaceX's capabilities. SpaceX already has plans for a Raptor 3 X or even a Raptor 4. Musk has stated that these future variants will exceed 300 tons of thrust. With the large number of engines used on each Starship booster, even the current Raptor 3 will allow Starship to surpass 10,000 tons or 22.5 million pounds of liftoff thrust. That is roughly three times more powerful than the Saturn V. He also noted that the Raptor 3 and 4 vacuum versions could reach specific impulses of up to 380 seconds. This level of improvement shows that the Raptor design is easier to scale than the BE-4. Even if the BE-4 surpasses a Raptor variant for a moment, the next iteration of Raptor will likely reclaim the lead. With thrust alone, Raptor 3X or 4 would again put SpaceX ahead, reversing any short-term advantage Blue Origin achieved. To understand why, it helps to examine the core elements that the Raptor engine brings. Although the BE-4 may occasionally exceed Raptor's thrust, the Raptor has consistently shown superiority in several essential categories. Take Raptor 3 as an example. Even though its current 280 tons of thrust can be surpassed by the upgraded BE-4, the Raptor's compact design offers a major advantage. Starship's larger diameter allows SpaceX to install up to 33 engines, producing a combined thrust thrust of 9,240 tons. This is more than five times stronger than today's New Glenn and still about four and a half times stronger than a future New Glenn equipped with upgraded 290-ton BE-4 engines. In fact, even the older Raptor 2 engines gave Starship a significant advantage simply through engine count and configuration. Another category where the Raptor leads is chamber pressure. Raptor 1 and 2 both achieved 300 bar, while Raptor 3 reached 300 150. In comparison, the BE-4 sits at about 140 bar. Higher chamber pressure makes it easier to increase specific impulse, improve thrust to relative engine mass, optimize fuel efficiency, and enhance reusability. It also allows the engine to remain smaller and lighter while still producing significant power, which reduces manufacturing and operational costs over time. Of course, a higher chamber pressure also makes the Raptor more demanding to reuse, but SpaceX offsets this with extremely fast and low-cost manufacturing once full mass production is released, combined with ongoing 
following simplification. Simplicity is one of the biggest strengths of the Raptor engine family. Beginning with Raptor 2 and even more clearly in Raptor 3, many small and complex components were removed, redesigned, or integrated into simpler assemblies. Each version looks cleaner and more streamlined than the one before it. This simplicity creates advantages at every level. First, production becomes much easier to scale. With fewer intricate assemblies to build, inspect, and install, SpaceX can eventually produce multiple Raptor engines per day. In contrast, a single BE-4 has historically taken months to complete. If Blue Origin cannot substantially accelerate this process, they could fall behind in the long-term competition, especially while also supporting ULA's Vulcan missions. Second, simplicity improves reliability. When fewer components can fail, the risk of mission-ending issues decreases. The complexity of the BE-4 contributed to Blue Origin's first booster landing failure, which required nearly 10 months of work to correct. Third, post-flight operations benefit. A simpler design makes the Raptor easier to inspect, repair, and refurbish. Potential issues can be identified and resolved faster than with a more complicated engine like the BE-4. This helps SpaceX increase the reuse rate of both the engines and the overall vehicle. Across every stage, the time and effort SpaceX invests into the Raptor drops as each new version becomes simpler and more refined. This translates into major cost savings, which is a decisive factor in any long-term competition. When all of this is considered together, it becomes clear that surpassing a single thrust number does not guarantee victory. The broader ecosystem behind the engine determines who will lead in the future. It can be said that we are witnessing a remarkably dynamic competition between Methalox propulsion systems. While discussions often focus on the larger rivalry between Blue Origin and SpaceX, or between New Glenn and Starship, the true foundation of this contest lies in their engines, the BE-4 and the Raptor. The ongoing back and forth in thrust upgrades makes this rivalry even more compelling, and in the near future, the BE-4 may temporarily pull ahead in raw power. However, determining which engine is truly superior requires a broader evaluation. When considering factors beyond thrust, along with long-term upgrade potential, the Raptor currently demonstrates a clearer advantage. Both companies are leading the shift toward methane and oxygen propulsion, and the competition will become even more intense as new international competitors emerge. In such a rapidly evolving race, which Methalox engine would you place your confidence in? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. In any case, this has been Kevin with with great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.